What's going on YouTube? This is Gil from Black Hole Comics and today we're going to be reviewing the Red Hulk Marvel Select figure and the Abomination Marvel Select figure. Uh, decided to do both these characters together because uh, their past is kind of connected and they got a common uh, tether with the Hulk. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and check out the side art. Got Red Hulk on the side. Got some Red Hulk artwork right there. And then Right back there, we got the Red Hulk. Uh, brief little bio right there, and then Red Hulk artwork. Um, Incredible Hulk and the Ultimate Hulk. Those are the other characters from the wave. And then we got Abomination right here. Sorry, packaging's um, kind of falling apart. I bought this already uh, used. Got Abomination, a little brief little bio right there, Daredevil and Spider-Man. You go ahead and open these things up. So straight out of the packaging you get uh, this little, I don't know, I guess part of a diorama, part of a display base, just some cardboard with like a demolished um, city in the background and then this little like rocky looking thing to hold it in place. So just tab it in in the curved part right there. There goes Red Hulk out of the packaging. He does come with a nice little uh, display base right here. Kind of like some effects of um, getting into a fight, someone getting slammed onto the floor. I like that. That's cool. You could kind of put that into your diorama piece and uh, build around it. So I do got to say I really like how these uh, selects look. Especially the big guys. Um, I like how they fit in with the Marvel Legends. Um, this Abomination just massive I like it um, a lot better than the Build-A-Figure um, at least size wise I like how big it is I know that the Build-A-Figure right now with the Captain America uh, Wave 3 I know it has better articulation but I like the detail the sculpt and how huge this guy is a lot more you can see all the black wash on it all the detail looks very reptilian as you do know, he does have a pass with Hulk and Red Hulk. Um, it was pretty much because of Abomination why Betty Ross died. And Red Hulk here. Same thing. Nice sculpt. I like how big he is. Um, I got a Marvel Select Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Uh, Sabretooth. A couple of different big guys. Just, uh, they, they fit well with the Marvel Legends scale. I feel like, um, I feel like... The Marvel Legends Red Hulk and Hulk shouldn't be seven, eight inches. They should be this big. I just wish that they would do build the figures this big, maybe for the big characters. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I know that uh, Red Hulk does, but this guy is a lot bigger than his uh, Marvel Legends counterpart. You can see all the veins and the, the paintwork on the nails, uh, the wash on the jeans. Got some nice pliable plastic right here at the bottom where it's ripped. Back is fucking huge. I'm going to go ahead and get into articulation with this guy. He can look down. He can not really look up. He does move from side to side. His arm does move out to the side. He does not have a bicep rotation, but he does bend in. That's fully extended. That's all the way in does rotate at the wrist, there's no hinge. Waist movement, waist rotation. Um, no ab crunch. His move, his leg doesn't move out uh, forwards, but right here where you can see the joint does move out to the side that much. Like I said, not out front, doesn't move forwards. He does bend at the knee, not a whole lot, a little bit, so that's Standard up and down that's bent Not a whole lot that he moves and his foot does move down a little bit up There's no pivot That's the thing about these Marvel selects you are kind of um, Giving up articulation for the size of the character with the amount of plastic that they're using because these things are very heavy They're not hollow like how some of the build the figures are right now um, like the Rhino and Juggernaut and all that like the chest piece is all uh, hollowed out. This is solid plastic um, So he does move out to the side left and right uh, Doesn't move up and down 
arms move out to the side that much, not a whole lot. Moves in that much, doesn't rotate. Same thing as Red Hulk, doesn't move in at all. No ab crunch. He does have waist rotation right there. Uh, he does move forward a tiny bit. Moves back a tiny bit. So mostly he could bend his knee a little bit more than Red Hulk. And his foot does move down. Up. No ankle pivot. Not a whole lot <laughs> articulation on these guys. I think it's like uh, 16 points of articulation is what they have, or what they're what they're reduced to. 16 points of articulation. It's okay with me though. I mean, I like these guys. Like I said, um, because a Red Hulk like that for the build a figure, you're going to be spending a pretty penny. So on for that. a quick size comparison, just for a average size, smaller Marvel Legends figure, six inch scale. There goes the Scarlet Spider compared to Abomination. And you can see that there's a huge difference. It's almost double in height and about three times as wide, four times as wide. It's insane the size difference. But that's what I like. I feel like um, the bigger characters, Hulk, Abomination, Red Hulk, Rhino, Juggernaut, all those guys should be that huge. I got another size comparison. I um, got Thor, kind of oversized um, Marvel Legends character. You can kind of see how much bigger Red Hulk is. Uh, if you guys remember when Red Hulk was first introduced, this was about the size difference for when they went at it for the first time. Uh, Red Hulk was significantly uh, bigger than Thor. And here goes the Hulk Buster sandwich in between the Red Hulk and the Abomination. And you can't talk about Red Hulk and Abomination without the Hulk. Uh, this is my favorite uh, Hulk action figure right here. Um, I forgot exactly which Marvel Select is it's actually called. But I like this one better than, than uh, the one that was on the back of the Red Hulk. Um, I like how he looks better. I like his proportions uh, better. You can see how Abomination is a bit thicker. Then Hulk, which I remember from the comics, and Hulk, even though that he was a little bit um, smaller, he would get angrier and still be able to fuck up the abomination. Here goes a couple of size comparisons for you guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Alright guys, thanks.